at all, it's, um, yeah, it, it's a spectrum. There are outliers, people who are in different percentiles. Like, I've got two pictures of uh, penises ingrained in my mind, and... <laughs> bro, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, let him cook, bro. What is bro saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's... Nigga, what the bro? It's supposed to be man, man. Why is this nigga being zesty, bro? Fredo, that's me to judge, bro. Bro, 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 it's definitely this nigga, bro. It's not, bro, it's definitely, bro, it's definitely, bro. Bro, look at how he's faking the work, bro. Like. Why would you need him to work? I feel like you might. Why? Okay, based off what I'm seeing right now, bro. Like, literally, bro. I'm 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 down that the bigger size is gonna be this guy, this black dude right here, bro. This nigga has to have bigger size, like, bro. It's obvious, bro. Look at the way he's standing, bro. Like the muscles in his legs, bro. Everything just it's a line, bro. I know it's gonna have the smallest, bro. I swear to God, it's gonna be this nigga, bro. This bro, bro. Is it gonna be, bro? Let's just let's just go, bro. Can I just say, you guys are we got so er Erika, um, Maria. What the here. fuck is their names? Judge you based on worth or attractiveness or okay. anything that is related to your value as All right, bro. as lovers. Okay. The women start by ranking by appearance. Men are not allowed to speak. I really want you guys to walk for me. Do a strut for us. I see what you're trying to do, bro. Oh, this is a confident walk. Oh. Oh. No, period. Okay. What the nigga doing? That's a confident walk. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Why is this man working like a robot, bro? Why is he working like he got shit in his hands, bro? Damn, why are you working like that, bro? Oh, he got the cool walk. Ah. It's the okay. <laughs> I want to see this, this guy's work, bro. Oh, damn. Okay. This nigga. Mm. <laughs> Why is she smiling, bro? Oh, yeah, he's ready to model. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, I could take my words back, bro. It could be this nigga or this guy, bro. Straight up. That's my two judge, bro. Bro, 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 it's definitely this nigga, bro. It's not, bro, it's definitely, bro, it's definitely, bro. Bro, look at how he's faking the work, bro. Like. It, it has to be, bro. Oh, oh okay. No, it, it, it's big. It's big. And, and, whoa. Let's keep it. Nigga, what the? Bro, this is supposed to be man, man. Why is this nigga being zesty, bro? Why is he being zesty, yeah, man? Like, what the fuck? I feel like you really came in hot. I feel like I would put you at number four. Oh. Yeah, just like the confidence. I don't know if it was just because, you know, I just, it was really giving. It was really doing great. Um, this is hard. Can you guys put your hands out? Oh, thank you. Okay, okay. How you find a no, bro? How you find a no? What size is bigger by hands, bro? Yeah, like, do you look hands on these, bro? Like, all these shoes sizes, you definitely have the biggest. We already know that that's not a correlation, but I feel like we should just know that. I want to move actually both of them a little bit higher. Yeah, I want to move khaki jacket with the black shirt. Yeah, I want to move you down. I would switch you two. Yeah, I would switch you too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like you guys. Why isn't. Bro, they haven't the touched the black dude yet, bro. How are you feeling about pink? Period. I think he's, yeah. he's at the top. Not at the top, but somewhere at the top. <coughs> Two, three, and four. Bro, why is this nigga being zesty? Bro, if this nigga has the biggest, bro, like, I'm, bro, I'm done, bro. Like, that would be crazy because it's being set, bro. He could probably be pretending though. I mean, it could be. But or I feel like I might reorder. Maybe we should just switch him in green. I don't know. I feel like because he's so nonchalant right now, he's like, he's like, I'm actually bigger, but y'all 
really playing me right now. Okay, do you like, want to switch the two of them? I don't know. I make. I maybe. Okay, you can move there. Mm, I think I am as. Why is feeling. that, bro? Yeah. Bro, everybody, everybody here looks normal except from this guy in pink and this guy, bro. Why is this? Why is the guy on the white shirt, bro? He's acting like a kid, bro. Like, it's never been in some situation, bro. The women can now ask the men questions to help them with their ranking. All right. Okay, a so question for next. How important you think foreplay is, or how important for you with your lovers is foreplay? Um, I think it's very important aspect. You know, like uh, up, 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 up in the course. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know, you want to get to know each other. You want to feel comfortable around each other, things like that. So, like, so you guys are willing to experiment with women. Probably other things like whipped cream or, or whatever. Are yeah. yeah. ah, you bro? You know, like, and, then, and then once you guys feel comfortable, you know. Whipped cream does weird, bro. <laughs> whipped cream. Oh my goodness. Uh, foreplay. Uh, yeah, I I uh, enjoy foreplay. I feel play is a great way to get to know someone to see how they think, what they like, their preferences, and uh, I think um yeah I like uh. Gameplay, like I carry a suitcase of board games with me wherever I go, and uh, you know I love video games, so I, I enjoy all sorts of play. I like to see bro, why is how he... people have fun and how they laugh. That's not shy, a question, bro. <laughs> Do you want to switch? Them? Darius, okay. shy, I need to move. Yeah. Absolutely, shy. You just be lying. He had me a whipped cream. I was like, I don't know where this answer is going, and then he was like, but also whipped cream. Like, all right. You know, if my partner is comfortable <laughs> and in the mood, like it puts you know everyone in mood, and if they're comfortable, I'm comfortable. And I think that's the best way. Class is fogging up, so he gets steamy with it. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, give me a second. <laughs> My glasses fog up too. When I, you gotta see what you're doing. I think it's extremely important. You don't want your lover to feel like it's a transactional sort of relationship, and it's like the most fun part too. I would switch Israel and Darius. Yeah, I agree. Hi. What's up? I'm Nolan. Okay, I'm this Darius. is going crazy, like, is bro. The nigga with the whip cream. Like you're into. <laughs> that perfect spot you know like where you could keep going where it like they're comfortable with i think it's very important no nah, this nigga is small as fuck bro small as fuck you don't really care yeah i think i think foreplay is huge you know i think it can actually strengthen like bro shut up bro shut up bro you're not telling me bro it has to be bro it has to be bro like look at his voice bro yeah because it's like you're learning more about each other. I would say for sure foreplay is important to me because my number one like love language is physical touch. So I would say for sure I like kissing, all the jazz, but I love foreplay. That wasn't really about his first lover though. Oh. I feel like maybe Andrew should go down a little Why is he being zesty? I don't know like that though. The whipped cream really, yeah. Yeah, you really got that, man. You really <laughs> but they not touch the black dude yeah bro from the bottom now we here <laughs> bro these two black niggas bro i drive a camry got a crv i got a volkswagen jetta got got a toyota prius you know like you know it helps save on guys and also it's just you know like i feel, I feel like the car speaks for me you know speak for me you know like it's just it's a good car. Yeah. Environmentally conscious, bro. Exactly. That counts for a lot. I have the stereotypical um, lesbian mobile. I have a Subaru Outback. It's red. Uh, I drive a Dodge Charger. Okay, then. <laughs> Very. It was. <laughs> bro, this nigga said he. Okay, okay, bro. Bro, let me just hear what this nigga drives for. So, like, you don't gotta play it off. We know. We know. It's heavy. It's heavy. Volkswagen Jetta. The, these, the car fans have completed. Oh, 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 bro. This is going crazy, bro. Yep. Now I feel like this is all wrong. From what I've heard, the bigger the wing on the car, the smaller the... Based off of what my friends have told me, raise your hand if you exercise three times a week or more. Oh, wow, okay. I know, I want to shuffle, I want to shuffle the two of you. Why this nigga, bro? Why is this gas nigga raising his hands, bro? Like... No. Once. Once? Okay. <laughs> bro, he said once. Probably because. Probably because he was too big. So she had to run, bro. I mean, we don't know yet, bro, but. Okay. I think I'm trying to get in three sessions right now, bro. No. I do not. 
when I'm getting yeah. this guy on yeah. on uh, this white oh. on the other black dude. <laughs> She's crying like, Six you know, relationship, like, bro. Like, That's wild. I don't need you to be my boyfriend. Just keep giving it to me. Was the question if you're in a relationship? Yeah. Uh, no, single. I would have Andrew as one, and then Darius too. So them two would just switch like that. Oh, like all the way? Yeah. Oh, period. <laughs> no, I don't like the Toby switch with Xander. It was good in the metal walls. See, metal See metal but metal I, I feel like hey, Noah like, and Toby are like like not saying too much, but they're saying enough to let you know what they got going on. I want to switch. Toby and Nolan. Okay. I just, I don't feel like Toby need to be going bro, down this far. Bro, they are making this, bro. How many different brands of lube do you own? What? Bro, 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 bro. Why did they change the, bro? How was this gay, how was this, how was this nigga, and the, bro? <sighs> but it could be though, but if he is actually the one with the big size, bro. Like, I'm dumb, bro. Like, shit, that shit's bad. It's bad because it's Garen's type shit, bro. Like, it's gonna be crazy, bro. I already know. Oh, that's the one. Just one? Zero? Lube, lube as in, like, 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 oh, I mean, I have, like, engine oil or, oh, that kind of lubricant. Oh, uh. What the fuck did this, bro? Did this nigga say, huh? Nigga said, Engine oil, bro. Man, this is uh, going see, crazy, um, bro. I, I don't get uh, laid. You can say zero. <laughs> yeah, zero. <laughs> zero. You can say zero. I feel like mostly straight individuals don't use lube, and I think I was the only gay one, so like obviously I use it, but I don't think everyone else uses it. I don't think it has anything to do with your dick size. None. I usually don't, but I have like 12 right now because my roommates and I went to the Pride Parade and they're just throwing those shits out. Come on, It's like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> popping it all over. Okay, but usually zero. Usually zero. Uh, lubricated condoms? Um, lubrication? Mmm, that was straight, bro. Bro, say lubricated condoms, bro. Okay, bro. I think I'm taking my pick right now, bro. It could be this guy on white, this black dude, or this guy, bro. Like, I'm done, bro. Literally. You don't need it. You just be getting them that wet. I understand. I get it. I bro. get it. It, it has to be, bro. Like that. Okay, Andrew. I have one. Nice. I think it was really important to get to know them because it's really not just about the size. It's about everything about them. And that's what I do my gauging from is, like, your personality. What do you choose to do? How do you spend your time? Personality, it doesn't, doesn't matter, bro. Every time or how big you about caring about that most of the time yeah and i'd like to think they're honest with me but i know sometimes they might not be so you know but you know some guys with big dicks are awful lovers because they're just like well i'm packing this i don't really need to try i mean i try to focus on the person i'm with more because i just want to make sure that they're enjoying my company and that they're satisfied i think it depends on the person i think sexual chemistry is like with diff with like different people it like may feel different so with some people, I would say yes, with some people, no. I'm honest. It's honest, yeah. I would say the people I'm still in contact with, I've gotten good reviews. I mean, I think it's important, but... But? I, I think it's sometimes, not every time. Darius, every time, huh? I mean, you can say that. Oh, yeah! Move up the ranks, Darius. Go to one. Go to one, Darius. Darius try to be humble. Y'all... I, I, I would like to say, you know, like um, sat satisfying your partner is, is just as important as you being satisfied, you know, you know what I'm saying? Maybe even more. So. Period. So. <laughs> Andrew? I would say it depends on the time. So me and my partner are very both versatile, so it depends on the time and the experience. Is bro. Bro. I swear to God, bro. Me yelling this nigga. Bro. Why is he even, why is he on the show, bro? Why? Why is he there, bro? How, how would they describe their experience with you? I would say the previous relationship, she would be, uh, she was the one always like initiated to like, be like, like, what are you doing? Even like if I'm working. So I assume she was pretty much satisfied every time. She initiated every time? No, not every time, but she would like hit me up and like. Oh, so she missed it, like, oh. Yeah. You should go number two. Oh my goodness. Situationship and all. Just go to two. <laughs> like, what kind of underwear would
What's your typical like your cut of underwear? Briefs, boxers. So they're doing boxers, underwears you know, now, bro. Basically, boxer or boxer briefs. Boxer briefs. I like jock straps. Mm -hmm. Uh, just like I guess like workout underwear, just like the tight ones. Bro, can like the compression ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's move, Toby and Nolan. Mm -hmm. Switch back. Compression underwear. But I also think Shy is really giving us that look like y'all really bro. Right now. Uh, oh. Bro, what does she mean by compression underwear, bro? It could have big, bro. It could be big, but still wearing it compressed to like hold it in size, bro. Because, bro, they are being uh, tricky uh, right now. Like, boxers, Toby should go a little higher, but then I'm like, Andrew, I know you got it going on. Like, let's switch Toby and Andrew. I'm okay with that. I feel like no one should go up. What does masculinity mean to you? Like we all thought that uh, we, are, I'm pretty sure, like majority of society, we thought that masculinity is you know be tough, you know, like don't cry, don't things like that. But like, but the way I perceive masculinity is that you know you're like you're a man and you're not you're not afraid to be who you are. Like there are good masculin masculinity and there are toxic mas masculinity. You um, know, I think I think we have to do our best not not to get our masculinity to be in a toxic side. I feel like uh, masculinity and femininity are. I mean, there are like constructs of like how society determines what makes a man and what makes a woman. And it goes beyond like our genitals or physical appearances. And I feel generally just traits that any human, regardless of masculine or feminine, should have is just being kind of compassionate mm. and empathetic. I don't think it matters at the end of the day. Like whatever it means to that person is what it means. But for me, it means being mentally strong and emotionally strong doesn't necessarily need to come out as physical mentally yeah, like, strong bro good, what's you going on all that but it just means knowing yourself knowing what you want to do and allowing yourself the grace to make mistakes and learn who you are and then eventually if you want to start a family provide and protect for them do whatever you want to do have fun I think masculinity too is like a spectrum, just like gender. So like it doesn't necessarily relate to the gender. I think it's just kind of a way that your culture shapes you. Yeah, because I grew up in a Hispanic household, so they're like, we want our men to be like very macho men and everything like that. And like, I try to stray away from that because that to me is like more leaning towards like toxic masculinity. Not saying that just because you're a macho man that means like a bad thing, but they tend to like. At least in Hispanic culture, they tend to go in that way. I feel like Andrew is third, and then I'm like. Man, so this nigga like twisting your minds or right now, so bro. I like. Feel like you also might be high. Andrew, let's have you move to the. Yeah, third. I think you're third. Do you guys think the stereotypes surrounding like sizes about like whether that's like your height, your your ethnicity, like do you guys think that actually does play a part? Like do certain stereotypes as men, like do you guys believe that there are certain stereotypes that are true or not? No, uh, I say so. No. I mean, sort of like, yeah, there is a spectrum, a normal distribution of sizes that do, that have some correlation with like ethnicities perhaps, but beyond it all, it's, um, yeah, it, it's a spectrum. There are outliers, people who are in different percentiles. Like, I've got two pictures of uh, penises ingrained in my mind, and one of them is mine and my grandpa's. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, let him cook, bro. What is bro saying? Like, you know, my grandpa passed away on the toilet. There wasn't enough time to put clothes on him. So when I had to do the CPR on him, like, it was, like, right there hanging. Hanging. And uh, I would say, like, I don't know if jeans play much of a play because, uh, I'd say there was a disparity between uh, his and mine, and um... <coughs> bro, that's yeah, it, bro. This nigga... If his grandpa is dead, like, they had to do, like, CPR, so that means... That shit not gonna be, like, standing, like, you know what I mean, so... And it's comparing it to its size. Like, bro, that's it. Like He's trying to say like, something uh, right there, bro. Yeah, Pretty different. He's my grandpa. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna pass a shovel to the next person to dig themselves in the hole. I'm gonna stop talking right now. <laughs> I, th I think there definitely is a worldwide average when it comes to like ethnicities, but based on like medical background, more like in local areas, like I would know people that are packing that like I wouldn't assume they were, and I know people that have like something small, and I wouldn't expect that either. So I think it's definitely there's definitely stereotypes that don't exist as much anymore. Get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Okay, um, as someone who is one of the only people that has been with men over here, um, I would say that um, it kind of stereotypes most of the time, would say 70% are right, but there's always outliers. Do you guys feel like your size in any way
way contributes. I don't like this guy, nigga, bro. I mean, when you walk around the room, people don't, don't look at your penises. They're looking at how you communicate and talk to them. Speak for yourself. No, bro, said not me. Bro, bro said speak for yourself, like. He said, I can't relate. I feel like Shy needs to move. <laughs> okay. I would say, though, like, big dick energy is real. Like, you can tell if someone has a big dick when they walk into, like, the room. So, no. Andrew, go to two. <laughs> go to two, Andrew. <laughs> go to two. <laughs> Have you ever slept with someone on the first date? Damn. Tell me this is not hard, bro. What do you consider a day? Date. Oh, a date? <laughs> Wait, whoa, no, what were you on? <laughs> I think Nolan should go third. Really? Yeah, just based off, he couldn't even process the question. I was about question. to put him in number two, actually. At the bottom? Yeah. He looks shocked. <laughs> what? I didn't, what's happening? I don't know, he's giving like, it came in two. So it's Toby and Nolan? Yeah. Yeah. So it's Toby and Nolan. Toby and, isn't he back to where he was? Oh, no, no. no. That's. No one switch with Xander. <laughs> let's have Xander, let's have you move to number three and Nolan and Toby just move down one. That feels better to me. No, I think we should lock it in. I think it's good. Yeah. Why is that nigga at the front, bro? That it was a very good experience kind of sharing this stage with everybody and just being honest and open about it. Because if we can't, then we're just gonna keep perpetuating this insecurity through our bloodlines and our generations and our uh, society. And it needs to stop now. And I'm gonna stop and I'm running for president for 2024, running on the dick issue. Being a <laughs> bro say he's running on a dick issue, bro. I think I would rank Israel higher, which would be interesting because we put him last. Yeah. I kept looking at his nose. And being like he had a bigger. I feel like he might be girthier. Like I feel like he might have like the thickness going on. He was definitely given that, but uh, okay. it'd be a stereotype. Yeah, I mean, I think that was difficult too. I was trying not to make too many inferences and just listen to what their answers were. But I also am not confident at all that we had anything right. I'm sizing y'all up. I'm sizing y'all up. Okay. You're saying height has a correlation? Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. What about height? Who's the tallest here? That's you, huh? I'm 6'1". You're 6'1", I'm 6 foot. So you got me beat. You passed a Tinder check right there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do we think height does correlate? You could be a tall as a basketball player and, and don't have, you know, I think something like facial hair. I think something like facial hair. Yeah, like you three, like testosterone, you know, of course, through the vein. All right, let's start with facial hair then. Like you, you in the, with the hoodie, like you got a nice full beard going on. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get it started to kind of get the ball rolling. Okay. Hey. <laughs> so they're racking themselves like now. This is crazy. The shorter penis people. So I feel like there's also a micro penis among us. Oh, mate, huh? so maybe. So a maybe micro penis? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Bro's projecting. I'll, I'll switch with you. How about that? I'll switch okay. with you. I don't think you should be. I, don't, yeah, 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 I feel as if I'm proportional. Uh, I think you got to come over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either next to me or next to. <coughs> you carry yourself. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. We'll just do it. Well, I have paper, scissors. Ah, oh, okay. I did it too early. I say, I say you go. I think I think you go. No, no, you. Yeah, I think you. Be at least in the middle. Oh, no, no, no. I'm too. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, no. I'm too kind, y'all. I'm too. No, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It could be the Asian dude, though. I did a stereotype, you know, wouldn't go to, you know. But this nigga, bro. Ethnicity, you know, like, they'll know that, you know, African Americans are more well hung. If you're saying that, then I think you got to move up, man. But what? where? Go to number one. Get over there. What if it's just me and you just all the way over there? <laughs> Do it. White guys in the middle? Yeah, White guys go. in the middle, baby. Where was I? No, you up there. Yeah, second. Second. Okay. Okay. All right. I think he maybe should go like second. I think you should. I think you should pass me. I think once again, like facial hair, like that testosterone kind of thing. I think you should actually go number one. I think you should be number one. Number one? Yeah, yeah. Wait, actually, I gotta ask. No, do you feel comfortable being right here? You know, at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm a humble guy. I like my coffee cold. <laughs> and I like my penis in the middle. I really had a fun time just hanging out with dudes and because I never really experienced that locker room talk that guys talk about. And I mean, we're just joking around. We didn't like devalue anyone's insecurities. We all 
they kind of just try to hype each other up, <laughs> and I think that's what a lot of guys are missing is the affirmation. But stop the cat, bro. I was on Jubilee, I was like very confident with my raking, so I really wanted to be quiet today because I wasn't the best, but I would say pretty confident with this one. It's I would okay. say right in the middle. You can move me up. It's fine. No, yeah, let's. I think we should switch actually. Oh, really? That worked? Yeah. Holy mm -hmm. shit, that worked. Okay, yeah. Hell yeah. Is that okay? Are we okay with that? Actually, I want to I wanna ask you about like the queer experience because Ooh. even, you know, oh, you're, you're gay, right? Mm -hmm. Like they have their own like spectrum of like stereotypes for penis sizes. Because uh, like one of my gay friends told me like the perfect size is like four inches. So I think over time, gay people genetically have like modeled towards like gearing towards that perfect sizes because that's the where, that's a space where the, the, the G spot and the anal is, right? Mm -hmm. You at the very end, I think you're going to be a surprise one. I think. I think you're gonna. I think you're gonna shock the people. I don't think no, you belong No, no, no. I think you're overthinking that one. <laughs> no, you. You don't have a say though. We have to change you. I'm, I'm, I'm out there. Agree. You're a little too quiet. You might have to move up just like one. Cause bro. One. All right. That's giving some type of consternation. Cause that nigga just quiet, bro. Like, he's not even speaking too much. Bro. In number six, we have Nolan. <gasps> Bro. In number five, we have Andrew. What? <laughs> Wait, oh, I'm yeah, get that gay ass nigga back. Cause you know why I would say that nigga is not even making sense because bro, look at this shit, bro. Bro, look at him, bro. It's not even looking like he's the man in the gay. I mean, like the gay stuff they do, bro. It looks like it's the female, and it's not gonna have like big shit, bro. Like, and this nigga, bro, look at his smile. It's like, <laughs> you don't know what's coming, bro. This is trippy, bro. Really, really trippy. <laughs> bro, he doesn't have the perfect spot. I'm still not top three. No, you're right, you're right, my fault, my fault. So it gets big. In number two, we have Xander. In number one, we have Toby. Why the nigga number one? Man, my nigga is a number one, but. Three inches. 3.2 inches. Four inches. Four and a half inches. Six and a half inches. Dang, Toby. This is the moment we have all been waiting Ooh. Here we go. We're going to reveal the smallest tickets. Bro, shut up, bro. <laughs> bro, they say the ad sizes, bro. Oh my god, bro. Take this damn with you, bro. <sighs> This is not like the actual size, right? It's like the, their own. Okay, it's like their own type. Bro, it's not Darius, bro. I know it's not Darius, bro. I did not, I did not see that coming. Darius is my man. Bro, this thing is smiling is crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Wait. Honestly, I was not expecting Darius to pull through with that shit. Good. Good looks. Good looks. Well, uh, well, uh, well, you know, like, I'm just, you know, a sensitive guy. Bro, what the fuck, bro? I thought that was not even. I, you know, like, I thought that. I'm just, you know, I'm just, like, I'm just, I'm just a guy who. Bro, just, it's not the, the real side, bro. 
you know, like target, it's not the real to, ranking, bro. And, ho and hopefully, and hopefully, I can meet somebody, you know, like who I can share that with. And my and my penis size. <laughs> Five inches. Oh, nice. <laughs> See that? Five inches. That's six inches. Nice. Six inches. Six point five inches. Oh, <laughs> now it's three. <laughs> Seven inches. You know, I'm gonna say it with confidence. <laughs> Eight inches. Eight point two. I was definitely surprised some that I was the biggest. I have Asperger's, so I was never like the most confident guy. So, like, so most God people, most damn. people would know that I'm packing. <laughs> just by looking at a man. So I have to go back into my group chat and let all my girlies know that they're wrong. Even at five inches, that's a great size. Like, I literally like, it doesn't really matter. It's like what you put into the person that you're messing with. So it's like the foreplay, everything else that comes with it. So I mean like, we can't all be Darius, but like, <laughs> especially with the whipped cream. Bro, like, she's hey, obsessed like, with Darius, like. That we unfortunately reinforced some stereotypes today. Uh, I think that was, that's not something that I was hoping would happen. So I'm a little sad about that. Um, we also have a really unrepresentative average here. You know, average penis size is like four and a half to five and a half inches. Obviously men self-select. Studies are really flawed because when you have men self-report, they tend to uh, lie or exaggerate their size. Hopefully through our questions and answered, people that were guessing along at home were surprised. Like hopefully we illuminated how your job, your life satisfaction, your relationships, even the lube in your drawer or lack of lube, uh, doesn't indicate anything about your size. I would say societally, like they think it's like portrayed that we should have bigger dicks, but then if you look at like talk to gay individuals or women, like the size doesn't really necessarily matter. It might be more enjoyable if it's smaller. So I don't think it necessarily matters the size if you ask your partner at all. A lot of partners prefer girth to length. Actually for women in particular, a penis that is very long can be very painful because we have a, a cervix. Our yeah, are bro, like, right bro, why again. would you even want penis that is like, bro? Bro, take this shit as an example, bro. This shit probably, probably like eight feet, bro. How would you like this, bro? Like, bro, you could, you could, you could manage this, bro. Like, I mean, that shit getting the job done. Like, I don't know why you are like. I don't know why some people. I don't know how girls though, but. Those people that like big dicks, they're crazy. Honestly. Like, to me, it's just, just too much. So, if you have a larger And it's not because I have... I'm not talking, like, to defend myself, bro. Like, stop. Bro, chat's going crazy right now. You have to do more foreplay. You have to get her a lot more turned on in order for sex not to cause pain and discomfort. So, so no larger than average and for one to having a large no, he's just my dumb. virginity with my friend group so i always felt this sort of pressure and that just kind of perpetually made it harder and harder to be comfortable and actually go after that and then once it actually happened i remember just being in my head so much the entire time about is this okay is this enough okay that's done bro like i wasn't expecting bro but though my guess was no right like I probably thought it would be this dude, not this nigga. But anyways, it's still number two, so I mean, I tried, bro. Like, I tried. So, see you guys in my next video. Try, bro.